Teresa. Teresa, on whose forehead the sky begins. Like the scent on the bud of the flower. Teresa, Teresa the, the one, one with, with the soft, soft heart heartbreak. Break, and the, the cerulean blue streak on her sweet head. Sweet head. <gasps> How beautiful. To you. Guys, good to have you here. This is SAD Winner. Thank you for logging on to my YouTube channel. So, a quick review on the last episode on Laura of the Heart. It started with Samuel and Astrid having a real quality time. Like I mentioned in the last episode, they noticed that they were good lovers of poets, poetry, poems. And it was really a beautiful moment for them reciting poems. Like you would see the atmosphere, feel everything really beautiful. When I mean beautiful, it was um, breathtaking to see them in such. I think Summer was also very happy. The thrills of the moment, the excitement of the moment, and also they were whining, like drinking wine. So, um, it was beautiful, but I don't like what happened to her in the next um, sense. But let's get it. The next scene was now julia um camilo in julia's um, parents had he had already said in the last day uh, they already okay let me just say they already shared it to have dinner with them um, the family over the um yes on that day so they're having the after the dinner they're now conversing talking about everything that had happened julia's father like man he's straight to the point nothing to even she don't cover about everything so of course he was sure or certain that um Camilo will definitely get out of prison like okay maybe because he did not commit the crime but what he wasn't certain about is or was if Camilo was truly ready for marriage like this time now they're talking about the relationship like maybe the time they had to um date wasn't long enough so though Camilo tried to let him know he was ready he knew what he wants and you know those men so even Julia was like okay let that that was a conversation for the both of them but he said no that he really needed to talk but he still believes or he's certain that Camilo wasn't or isn't ready for marriage and that before he makes any decision he shouldn't be in a hurry to make any decision like I know Camilo was a bit disappointed but he was he said everything he had to say and then that was a very very clear fact to him but um Camilo a, a bit like he's a bit Julia and Christiana tried to side him a bit Madam Julia, I, Maria Christiana rather tried to side him um, a bit, but honestly, Maria, you just have to pick a side. I don't know the side she's on. If she's on Pablo's side or oh, Camilo's side, it can't be on both sides at this time. But um, yeah, Camilo eventually, um, whether well, he was sorry for everything that happened, so they are left alone. His father left, um, Julia, uh, Maria left them, so it was left for the two of them, time for him and. Um, Pap Julia to do whatever call it her. Time for her, for him and Camilo to talk. They were talking about everything. He knew everything that has happened, and he was truly sorry. Then he notices that she wasn't wearing her ring. Asked her about it. Then she said it was asked for his, and then it was in the mother's room. So they went there. They went to the room. They were talking. He was truly, truly sorry. Then he talked about Pablo. Like, okay, he doesn't care whatever has happened between Pablo and Julia in the past. That those are very difficult period of time. So if Pablo came into her life, it was for some good and he doesn't care and he wouldn't judge her for anything. That all he wants is her love. Like, I really don't know whose side to be on at this point. If to be on Pablo's side or to be on Camilo's side. But you could see that he he was really really sorry and then reassures her of his love then the next scene was himena and then pablo in pablo's house they're having dinner so she sees this as an opportunity to talk to pablo and ask for one more chance for them to get back together but Pablo tells her they can never be there. It is over and over. She tries to know if Juliet was the cause, if he was in love with her, blah. And anyway, Sha Pablo tells her that no matter what she do, whether Julia or not Julia, that their love had ended. He had fallen out of love with her. So that was the reason he wasn't there for her. So she shouldn't blame it on Julia. She tried every means possible and 
Baba's mind is made up that there would never be. Then, of course, um, Himina went home. She leaves her day. She went home. And then she's not feeling so, so, so happy. So again, Camilo, the scene of Camilo is shown. He's truly sorry for what had happened and reassures Julia of, um, and reassures Julia of his love. And as he was going to see his parents in the family she would come but she declined so that's a very very wrong signal for for him at this point so he's thinking all about that like okay <sighs> i feel for him to some extent but it is what it is there was shit and i don't know who eventually gets to pick the crown of the game after what so the next thing is samuel and ashri they dance they talk about so many things then like Honestly, for me watching from here, I thought she slept off like she dozed off. Maybe she was a bit tipsy and dozed off, but on like surprisingly, that was her. She slept into her like on the seat. She slept into her desk like she died that way. <laughs> you can see the kind of surprise and trauma she had put somewhere into. So somewhere called um, Nicholas who was having a good time partying and let him know what had happened so um, Nick gets to come and meet him. Nick gets to meet him um, on his way to meet him. The, the next thing is Elusia's hearing, investigation and hearing. Alfredo and Sylvia, they're asking, they're Rahelo is there, they're asking what transpired, everything that transpired and why she she pretended to that extent of aiding Rahelos to kill doctor she gave them state by state every the reason that made her do that what actually instigated it eventually was when she started in the magazine covered that doctor was having great time with his family and why she um why she is lamenting or the child is on the sick bed you know those kind of various stories so those are the reasons at the end of this was like an internal house hearing so at the end of it um severe feels pity for her to some extent and well would be as much as possible to be very very liberal with her in the final hearing so the next thing is the elderly home they're praying for astrid camilo works um they're praying for astrid Nick gets to gets to see his father and then he asked him what truly transpired between them. He relates or narrates everything to him that happened. If that was it, like he was having a very good time, a good moment and he did not do anything to endanger her life to any circumstances but he's also as surprised as everybody that they were even trying to get along and he was liking her so much for her life to have ended that with that like the way he said it like she just left like that why so he's in a very traumatized mood so there is a doctor who's going to do investigation and assures that nothing happened she died of stroke imbalance so many things and had also advised um nick that the father will be under some strain or stress because of this trauma. So for that reason, they need um, to put him under some check for the time be. So, um, Elusa's hearing, no matter the convictions and everything, the judge decides that that was a pretense to kill or to murder. She did not want justice, rather she needed revenge for herself, which she did on her own without considering the law. Though she had reported initially and the case was dropped, she would have, so that would not evade her from getting the judgment or the sentence for murder. Um, her, her defender had pleaded for has arrest but the judge denied her of that that she would definitely go um she would pay for her crime that was case scenario best case scenario the son would have to go to the to go to a home for care while she serves her term in prison we are really pity for her so um pablo dinesin is pablo and Meg, they talk about them. They yet they on camp. They went out with Ferdi. They are having a discussion. So Fer, um, Pablo gets to hear everything how it happened, and he assures or reassures them of the better side of the story. That's the death of Astrid. That anyway, it happened. Like she died in a happy month. If it wasn't in his father's presence, she would, she would have also still she would have still died. So, but it was better for her that she died in a very, very um, 
with a place or in a happy mood. She died in a happy mood that anybody would want to die in such situations. So in the process while they were talking, Camilo gets to tell um, Pablo that Julia and um, <laughs> Nick, that Julia and Camilo will be going to the farm this weekend. Like you understand, I think they are friends. I don't know. <laughs> And Pablo is a bit kind of a bit jealous, you know. So anything he now reassures or informs or tells next that Julia is one special person in his life, that he's very certain or sure that this is the one for me, that he's never had such assurance in a very, very long time. But it's so unfortunate that things are going or happening this way. So the next one is pablo take freddy home they're done with the weekend the camping and his visit to um, pablo's house so he takes him home and baby girl welcome them so lovely so he gets to see um himena so and she still requests to ask for more time he asked him to come back home but you know let's not even talk about that again pablo's mind is made up and made up it's either julia or somebody else as for him and it's over but i really don't know how that relationship would work you're close to the kids you're not close to the mom then how do you want her to feel anytime she saves you but i'm sure they will definitely find a way to close or bridge the gap in the long run but him and i would not stop from allowing him see the kids if needs be I trust that she will do that. All right, that was the end of this episode on Lore of the Heart. Um, this is your girl, Lacey Demuda. Until I come your way again um, in the next episode on Lore of the Heart, if you have feedback, comment, kindly let me know in the comment section. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do this for me. And I just like to tell you that I love you all. Thank you so much for your time. Bye.